Put it in. Come on. Uh, won't stop. Take my quick. They said we weren't to move for 20 minutes. They always say that. What are they going to do? Come back and check on us? When I said get down and stay there, I meant get down and stay there, especially you, fat boy! Scooters. Clever. Yeah, yeah. Another bloody master stroke from McLean. Let's just catch him, Sergeant, and not sit there admiring the handiwork. Yes, sir. Well, we're trying. Oh, dear. Sir, both chase groups are reporting single riders on the other two bikes. Well, I reckon one of them's still in there. Don't be ridiculous, Manny. Why the hell would they do that? Right, pull back, down, down! Now, sir. Sir. All units, we're going in. Couldn't quite bring yourself to leave them. Handmade calf leather. Expensive, George. Yes. Very. Today, Mr. McCabe, and uh, Chanel, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you, Steve. Perfume Glasses, who's his boyfriend. <laughs> We've come for your council tax money. Or your telly. Well, don't mind which. Lawrence isn't here right now. He's uh, away filming. Filming? He's an actor. Got a very important part in The Midsummer Murders. Oh, yeah? What's he playing? The Undertaker. It's very well paid, apparently. Right. Well, you tell him we'll be back next week. No excuses. Well, I'm sure he won't let you down. And I'll be here if you need me. Brilliant. Brilliant about bits of emergencies. What would I ever do without you? Get a proper job. And oh, a maid? Well, but don't start on me. Look, I have got a job. I've got an audition, actually, for television. Oh, what's it for? Who put the bear? No, he's Scottish. That's why I'm dressing the part, you see. Rupert the Bear's Scottish. No, look, this is for a big new show called, um... What's it called? Um, called Crime Lords. 
crime lords. Yes. True life stories from Britain's biggest barons of badness. God. Yes, it's the lead. I am playing the big kahuna himself, George McCabe, super gangster. <laughs> do you really think you do all that macho swaggering crap well, or at all, in yeah. fact? Are you going to give me a lift or are you just going to mop? Just a little bit of both. Oh. Never. 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 Ah, ah, ah. Why do you always forget the bloody paper? Hello, boys. You just can't get enough of me, can you? Step aside, please, man. Mr Nixon, open up. Come on, we're not stupid. Mr Nixon, we know you are in there. Oh, when you finish a yabbering away there, hen, get yourself in the car. Come on. Oh, darling, that stupid actor has forgotten to pay his council tax. Well, tell a lazy wee shite to get himself a proper job. Now, come on, Minnie and Mick will make some muckle. OK, darling. Bye. Ah, the triple chock crispy bloater. Is it a biscuit? Is it a cake? Who knows? It's a cake, obviously. Mm. I think you may be right. Look, is that it, or did you just call me in here to talk about cakes and biscuits? No, we are here to talk about Terry Malone, our problem new boy. We don't want anybody getting ideas above his station, do we? We? Mm. We. Just like we don't want anything to go wrong with your parole application. Do we? OK, it's done. Good. That's what I like about you, George. Ever the realist. Just like me. We make a good team. I shall miss you if you go. OK, when you go. Well, if there's nothing further. Yum, yum. Hey, why did McCabe go back into the diamond dealers, eh? Was this the desperate, spontaneous act of a cornered animal? I don't know. George McCabe's never done a spontaneous thing in his life, least of all in the middle of a job. Mm. Amazing resemblance, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I just meant physically you're very similar. Oh, right. <laughs> Have we met? I'm Lawrence Nixon. Claire Manley. Uh, oh, I thought uh, Carrie Ann was playing her. No, I am Claire Manley. They uh, asked me to advise on background. So you met him? Can you tell me about him? I mean, what was he like? You know, what are his hopes, his dreams, his, his private inner turmoil? McCabe doesn't do inner turmoil. He does crime. Quietly and efficiently. Boring. We want this show to be big and bold and full of human drama. Yes. Yes, yes, Jane. Sergeant Manley and I were just discussing McCabe's inner turmoil. Yes, well, we can't shoot that, can we? No. No, what we need is something visual, something that gives us colour. Impact, yeah. vulnerability. Mm. How about a limp? A limp? That might work. Doesn't have a limp. This is drama, Sergeant. Sometimes we have to nudge reality a little to show the deeper truth. <clears throat> Actually, it's Inspector. I, uh, how about a stutter? I did that once at the Sherman Theatre card. Stutters are a bitch to edit. Yes, they are. How about a lisp? Hmm. That's possible. <laughs> yes, it's very possible. Why don't you give him a wooden leg and an eye patch while you're at it? No, perhaps she's right. I mean, we don't want to go too over the top, do we? Lawrence, who's directing this? Me or the sergeant? Jane? No, they said do smaller portions, so I do smaller portions. <laughs> That's for me, you don't. Thank you. Me. Ma. Well, if it isn't little Oliver Twist. Are you no happy with the portions here, boys? Hmm? Uh, no, you're all right, mate. Thanks very much. Mate. Let's have a little look, shall we? Now, I don't want anyone feeling hard done by. Not on my wing. Whoa. 
Seems like there's plenty there to me. What do you think, mate? Yeah, you're right. Lots. Good. Everybody's happy then, aren't they? Class. Yeah. Have you heard them making a TV programme about them? Can't say I'm surprised. I wonder who they get to play on. Crime Lords, George McCabe, scene 28, take one. Very good. Right, Lawrence. 110%. Yes. Really make me care. Actually, Actually j sorry, but um, can I just tell you that my shoes are very, very slippery. Right, so it doesn't, I'll make it work, it's okay. Action! Action! I said get down! Fuck. Oh, my God. There you go, Steve. Something to keep your ears busy. Oh, thanks very much, Mr. McCabe. You'll never do it, you know. What? Out stare the stare. I'm not competing. I'm just enjoying looking into those lovely eyes. Yeah, right. <clears throat> oh. Now, don't get all moody just because I mention this, because it's not my doing, OK? OK. Now, I don't know why, probably because of that TV thing tonight, but there has been some serious interest again in my book. Our book. No, Cassie, no. We agreed. No book, no. Not until I'm out. Steve, do you mind? Uh, sorry, Mr McCabe. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everyone could hear your story, George? Get to know the real you, the amazing guy I've met and they haven't. Cassie, the things that I've told you cannot come out while I'm in here. Yeah, but George... I said no. You're just going to have to trust me on this. When I'm out, we'll do a thousand books, OK? OK. I don't care about the stupid book, OK? I just care about you. I know. For God's sake, Steve! In this week's edition of Crime Lords... Oh, my God, I feel so nervous. Do it, I can watch this, you know. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, calm down. Chop that. There's a for what? This programme contains scenes that some viewers may find disturbing. <laughs> Oh my god, this is my bit, this is my bit, this is my bit. Yes, McCabe was a big oh, no, it's not, catcher. It's not. Shush, shush. Right. It took a lot of time, a lot of manpower, and a lot of luck. We got him in the end. Well, you got him. Yes, I got him. George McCabe's early life was marked by tragedy. Two days after his father left, a fire in his tenement claimed the lives of his mother and two older sisters. Oh. Six months later, he assaulted his social worker and stole his car. <laughs> he was 11 years old. Oh. He's, uh, he's like a sexy version of you. Yeah, I think... What are you talking about? I'm a sexy version of me. Dave has to choose. Cancel and kiss goodbye to a fortune or break all oh, his own laws and do the job Diamonds in here, boys. The diamonds in here. Case is a ringer. Oh, I wouldn't do that, George. <laughs> I said, get down! And stay there, suckers! What are you staring at, fat fool? I didn't know you had one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like we have a little bit of a situation here. God, you... Lovely. I actually sleep there, sure but so hardly so. knows it. You're prepared to die for him. Very sensible sunshine. <laughs> Get your kit off. Well, 
Let's just hope Mr. McCabe's got a bloody good sense of humour. Find him! So bad, it's good. See, operative word, they're good. Yeah, well, anyway, what did Dad think about it? What? What do you mean he went to bed? Oh, for God. Look, well, tell him I'll send a copy of the tape. Well, tell him I'll send him one anyway. All right, goodbye. Hello? Large Nixon. Car for you. Me? No, I don't think so. Crime Lords, right? They want to talk about a sequel. Really? Hello, success. You and I are going to be very happy together. Oh, don't I get a car all to myself? Sit down, shut up, and listen to the excellent 12 speaker sound system. Look, I think you've made some sort of mistake. Don't go pissing yourself. We just had them seats buffed. Have a nice day, George. <laughs> There you go, Steve. Philip Glass. Try singing along to that. Thanks very much, Mr. McGee. Please, I don't mean to keep saying this, but I'm not who you think I am. Do the honours, Ray. What's he doing? Look, please don't do anything rash to be sorted this out. I'm not who you think I am. I'm Lawrence Nixon, the actor. Oh. Oh, please, get me out of this. I'll do anything you want. Prayers, candles, the whole belief thing. Quiet, please. And action. Now, why don't you tell Mr McCabe how sorry you are for making such a pig's ass of him on the telly? Now, tell me about your book, George. The one that my contact at the Home Office got wind of on the rumour mill way before I did. There isn't one. Not anymore, we binned it. She's an ambitious young journalist, George. I don't think she would bin a golden opportunity just on your say-so. Then let me see her and talk to her. Then we'll find out, won't we? Mm. But would you, George? I don't think you'd be able to see past those big brown eyes. You know, I do have your best interests at heart. OK, our best interest. Which is why, until we know exactly what she's up to, I'm suspending all contact between you and Miss Page. You can't do that. Oh, I can. And I just have. Bastard! I have to see her, Kenny. I have to have her right in front of me and know that Whitlow is wrong! Of course you do, George. Except, you can't, can you? Here, have a look at this. Take your mind off. I honestly didn't mean for one single second to make a fool of you. The list wasn't my idea at all. It was James as a rector. You great big plantar. You could look alike, though. I'll tell you what, George, next time you have to go to an identity break, just send him instead. So, you want me to text Barry and get him to strengthen the M25? Uh, yeah. No, uh, no. I've got an idea. So, you're an actor then? Yeah. Ever been in anything we'd know? Like uh -huh. the bill? No, not yet, no. Shame. We like that one. So, you enjoying our little film then, George? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're ready here. Yeah. Give us a word and we'll snuff him. Stuff him. I don't worry, just a figure of speech. Well, to be honest with you, it'd be a pleasure. Do you know anyone famous then? Mm, no. But no offense, George, but that sounds like a very bad idea. Oh, um, actually, I did go to drama school with uh, one of the girls from Monarch of the Glen. Oh, we hated that one, didn't we, Pete? Loads of toughs poncing around in kids. Yeah. All right, whatever you say, I'll set it up. You're the boss. Did you get her autograph? What? Lawrence! You are a very lucky man.
George has decided not to kill you after all. Oh, thank God. I, what do you mean, after all? One question. You ever been in prison? You don't mean... Uh... Thought you might say that. Look, all I'm saying is it's a hell of a risk. For you, for me, for everyone. And for what? What if you lose your omission? It's mad. Oh, it's just for one night. It's just a few hours. Don't be such a bloody drama queen. <sighs> Supposing something awkward kicks off. How am I supposed to nurse a ringer through that, eh? Oh, look, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I'll find someone else who does. All right, all right. Just saying. But for God's sake, don't forget to leave these behind this time. These stupid beards never suit me. I've got very sensitive skin, you know. I always come out in a rash. God alone knows what I'm supposed to do. It's... Believe it! I don't you getting caught before we even got in there. It's going to be very bad for your mum and dad's health. All right, Tony and Noreen, isn't it? Mmm, those mock Tudor houses in Bosco, am I? Terrible fire risk. All oh, them babies. Horrible men! Oh, you see? If you'd have done a bit more of that, and a bit less pumping around, you wouldn't be in this mess now. Good luck. Hello, cousin. Just say, firstly, um, how sorry I am about my choices that I made in betraying you. You see, it really wasn't my fault at all. There were script problems from the start, and creatively, I had very little input. The slightest slip, deliberate or otherwise, and your next performance will be in the royal box at your own funeral. Understood? <laughs> Let's do this. the noise down. I can hardly hear myself think. So? Got nothing interesting to say anyway. Oh, <laughs> not you have. Go on in. Oh, oh, get the hell out of here. Oh, 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 I was a dresser once, actually. It's quite a funny story, because we're You now, please. Come on. Time to go, George. Oh, you're pinching my titties. On the way. Ah. Stir fried squid in black bean sauce. The smell of freedom. You must be Kenny. It's very nice to meet you. The job for rank and book. This is a real prison, isn't it? Full of real prisoners. Certainly, so, but aren't you? Really? Look, you probably don't know this, but I do get extremely claustrophobic! This is all wrong. Look, you don't understand. I don't belong here. I I'm a good citizen. I, p I pay my taxes. Well, I don't, actually, because I don't earn enough, but I would. I... I can't breathe. I've got to get out of here. I'm sorry, I can't do this. You can do this. And you will. Remember, as far as everyone else is concerned, you are George McCaid. And they won't know any difference unless you let them. And you're not going to let them, are you? Not if you and your parents want to stay alive. No. 
right answer. <sighs> Here, put these on. I'm actually size nine and a half. I'm sure they'll give. What are you doing? Just walk, will you? Stop being so bloody terrified. I am bloody terrified. Well, don't be arsed. Step your head off. Oh, thanks, Kenny, because, you know, that really helps with the whole terror thing. I heard that. No. Straight to the front. Oh, that's not very nice. You're not very nice. Go to the front. All right, all right. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Oh, those look absolutely to... Oh. After you, sorry. Back, go on. Back, back, you bald, bug-eyed, beasty shoe. Sorry, it was his idea, his idea. Kenny, Kenny, deal with it, deal with it, deal with it. <laughs> nice one, Mr. McCabe. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Back, so I made myself at home. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, what the Have you escaped? Cassie, I need you to answer a question. Are you publishing that book? Book? Oh, you mean Yes uh... or no. And whatever you do, Cassie, don't lie. No! No. Is that really it? You broke out just to ask me that? Wow. <laughs> That's mad. And amazing. And romantic. God's sake, just get undressed and get into bed, will you? You get undressed, or do you always sleep in your trousers? Yes, don't flatter yourself. You know, by the way, you should think about moisturising, you know, because your face is like the surface of the moon, except craggier. I look after myself where it counts, in the gym. Oh, rah. That's not camp at all, is it? Shut up and get changed. I don't suppose he's a pyjama man, is he? The gear's in there. Just... Oh my God, somebody's having a branch of Benetton in here. Are you awake? Do you want some water? Yeah, hello, um, police, please. Of 
Okay, I'll check, but it's a waste of time. Okay, it's upstairs, come with me. Confirm that. Uh, we're just going to have a word with the young lady right now. Bally, wake up and get your ass down here right now. There's been a change of plan. It's not ideal, but it's the best. Come up with it, Sean, now she's... Well, what's wrong with the Stratford safe house? Filth on to it. It isn't safe no more. Whitechapel. Insurance fire. It isn't a house no more. Right. We've got his keys. Sorry. Force him, Abby. Of course, we can still get you back in with a cleaning crew, you know, like we planned. And me and Ray could uh, take care of the little Look, scrub. All I want you to do is find her. Is that understood? You'll please, you'll thank you, would be nice. Oh, dear. How can anyone live like this? It's not so bad. You can have a bit of a tidy up, be nice then. Take your mind off things. What a shit hole. What did they do today? They did the matter to do to I found this thing they had to see about how to still to do. What did I do today, today, to minute, to do, to do? I think distinctly hard to say, but hard to still to do. But there'll be the tattoo, to do. But look, this is not a lot of fun for me either, you know. I mean, just one night, they said. Out at dawn, they said. It's now, what, 8.15 and still no sign of him. I mean, he's not going to show. This is a life sentence. Breaking into prison isn't an exact science, you know. There's obviously been some mould up. It'll be sorted soon. Please, God. Oh. Not good enough, is it, Kimmy? In fact, no. If he's not going to show, I'm not going to show. I simply cannot perform under these circumstances. Do you want George McCabe to die mysteriously in his bed? Because you're going the right way about it. What to do today? To do today? To do to do? I think it's the guy I have to say, but I have to still to do. Sorry, I can't do this. Not with him out there. Darling, you have to. The one essential element of a book launch, apart from the book, of course, is the author. Especially such a sexy and talented one. Yeah, but you don't believe me, do you? It wasn't a dream, Simon. He was there, in my flat, in my bed. <sighs> Look, all I know, as your publisher and your friend, is that this is the kind of book that careers are built on. Don't throw it all away because of him. You deserve this. Yes, but look at me, Simon. I am a wreck. How am I going to stand up in front of a room full of people like this? I had an idea about that. I thought we could get that actor chap that played McCabe on the TV to read some of his love letters with you. I'm sure he'll be available. I don't know. McCabe can't touch you in public anyway, and we'll have the best security money can buy, I promise. He doesn't phone, 
He literally just disappeared for a whole day and a half without saying anything. So, where have you been? What's his name and why wasn't I there too? <laughs> Ooh, what's the part this time? Ooh, nice jacket. And look at the shoes. Where do you have, Lawrence? Keep something back for the bailiffs, eh? Watson. Weird. Or maybe not. Before you say anything else, there's something you should know about your mate Lawrence. Oh. <sighs> you know, I want to get used to the sheer abject terror of prison. It's really quite boring, isn't it? That's pretty much the idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jane Austen. A man of hidden depth skinny. Mm. Oh, dear God. Three months ago, Dennis was a milkman. Looks like he might be again soon. Well, who's the shouty one? Well, your mate Whitwright, the governor. Oh. oh. What do you mean, my mate? No, George, it's not worth it. Leave him! What are you talking about, Kevin? I mean, <laughs> you're just a stupid kid. Think about your parole. Even though you must be furious. Oh, ah, yeah, let me at him. Let me at him. I'll sniff the little bastard. Snuff the little bastard. Come on, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, you're a dead man in this prison. Yeah. It was just a drop of tea. What was I supposed to do? Rip his head off? Yes. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. If it happens again, you react. Otherwise, people will start asking serious questions. All right, I'll try. Can I have a word, George? Hey, hey. Not by Kenny. Uh, just be outside if you need me. So, George, I thought you ought to know. I've had an update on the book situation. Oh. I don't start that again. The book. Your book. It's definitely happening. Oh, is it? Hooray! Boo, boo. Oh, yeah, it's very funny. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face if there's any mention about our little arrangement here. Arrangement? What arrangement? Is that what you said to your journalist friend? Absolutely. My lips were sealed. I didn't tell him at her a single thing about uh, me and, and your jacket, your haircut. You, you, I didn't tell her a single thing about me and you. You're right, George. Mm -hmm. Ah. When are you going to get it, George? She's no good for you. They never are. Anyway. The best thing you can do is forget you ever met Cassie Page. Cassie Page? <laughs> I'm sorry. Remi remind me who she is again. If I were you, George, I would stop playing games and take a good look at what's really happening around here. Malone's getting cockier by the day. Time to put him back in his box. Absolutely. And nail the lid shut. Whatever. Just do it. Oh, you want me to do the nailing? What on earth did all that mean? It means if George doesn't get his ass back here sharpish, you are a dead man. I didn't hear him say that. Am I imagining things? Or did Georgie boy look a little... smaller today? Uh, Seemed about the same size to me. I mean, in stature, Phil, not actually... Never mind. Oi. Look what fell into my pocket in the workshop today. So nasty. Could have some 
was I out with that? Yeah. George. Yeah, she must be running scared. She's gone to ground totally. I've not even been back to her flat. No mobile, nothing. Well, I want her found, Barry. I mean, whatever it takes. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? Listen, I'll tell you when you need to know. Until then, you just keep quiet. Do you understand? <phone rings> Don't even think about it. Lawrence, Derek here. Look, another job's Derek? coming for you to play McCabe. Agent. Some writer called Cassie Page wants you to go along tomorrow lunchtime, play him at a book launch. It's at Billington's, 12.30 sharp. Whatever next, dear boy. McCabe the musical. What the bloody hell is going on? Would you like to see your friend alive again? Yes. Yes. Then you are going to teach me how to be Lawrence. When I wake up, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna no, be the no. man. What's that? They're coming across a gay bar. I don't do the bar scene anymore, actually. I had rather an unfortunate encounter with the Brazilian. Do I need to know this? Yeah. No. Sorry. If I get drunk, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. It's better. Oh, for goodness sake. It's no wonder this man has no career. The game. This time, scare the crap out of him. But I will walk 500 miles and I Stop with the staring thing. If you're Lawrence and you've got a problem, you talk about it. Usually in long sentences, heavy on the words, I, hiya, I'm sorry. The trouble is, your, your body language is too aggressive. Everything you do just shrieks. That's the attitude we want. Get in a word. Well, strictly speaking, that's two words, Kenny, so... Oh, it's lovely. Do them all. Look at these as a weapon. As a weapon. When they come up, everyone knows George really means business. Hello? Hi. Hello, and smile. Oh, hi. No. Let them really see what you're doing. There's no need to milk it. When I'm holy, hell, I know I'm going to be. I'm gonna be the man who's only well of two And when I'm screaming Okay, sometimes all the staring, the threats in the world aren't enough And you really have to get physical Physical? What, like fighting? No, ballet. Yes, fighting! Always engage on your own terms Make him come to you Then be fast, be first And never underestimate the power of surprise headbutt no, absolutely not. Hey, good football. Doesn't hurt if you do it right. It's this against this, yeah? Hard against soft. Easy. Now, come on, give it a go. There we go. Ow! Uh, make us a cup of tea, will you? And a crumpet. Role play, role play. Oh, uh, crumpet in this house? How dare you? Mm. <clears throat> Do you want some honey or jam on that? Open up, we know you're in there. Mr Nixon, Hawk and Get Recovery. Bailiffs. Hello, boys. Now, let's just be... Civilised about this. Do you have the full payment? Eight hundred and forty-eight pounds. No? Okay. Gary, take the telly and the DVD. I'll sort out the CDs. No, this isn't a very good. Shut time. it! I had a belly full of you last time. Fag hag. Um, I can have a word, please. You're very big, aren't you? Gary, put the stuff down. We're leaving. Now. Cheerio. Wow. 
horrible and hideous, obviously. Totally wrong. But wow. So, um, honey or jam then? Don't give in a big buds, mate! <laughs> Richard's leaving out! Charming ambiance in here tonight. Like an EastEnders wedding. What the hell's the matter with everybody? Look at them. They pulled the spotted dick. Wednesday night, spotted dick and cast it. That didn't happen. Very healthy to them. God, get up live. I mean, really. That's just the point. We haven't got one. It can all go off over absolutely nothing in here. When it does, nasty. You do know the match is on tonight. The mighty, mighty England versus crappy Wales. Uh, yes, I'm well aware of that. And uh, guess which team I shall be supporting? Come on, Wales! <laughs> There's a rumour going around they're not going to show it. A screw shortage or something. Sir? We want to know what you're going to do about it. Don't we, lads? Uh, well, I, I assure you, lads, that uh, steps have been taken and that the proper authority... Don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. It's a World Cup qualifier. Even this lot wouldn't be that stupid. OK, you bunch of wasters. Shut up and listen. About the football tonight. Jeez. Due to health and safety requirements, we can't show it in the TV room. I'm not having that. It's a disgrace! You can't take football away. That's a basic human right. Are you going to say something? Well, uh, like I said, I was just... Because if he's not going to stand up and be counted, we need someone who will. I say we send him a message. And we send it loud! We say no. No! 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 Just trying to tell them that we've had to move the football view into the gym because of numbers. Come on, George. What the hell's going on? Oh, he's completely lost it. That's always happens when a bloody woman's involved. <laughs> Takes your house, your car. <laughs> Deal with it, McKay. Deck the little bastard. No more talk. It's shower time. Something in your eye there, George. Need a tithu. <laughs> I can't do this. I just can't. Well, well, well. Looks like we got ourselves a regime change. Lads? The milky bars are on me. Oh, it's always the same. Show me the arrogant, horrible bastard, and I'll fall for him every time. Maybe you need the danger. Either that or you always have to be the one that's in the right. Very clever. Perhaps you should give up and marry Lawrence. After all, he's not a bad-looking lad, is he? Hmm. He really pissed you off, didn't he? He put my life in danger, yes. Danger? A lot of angry TV critics in jail, are there? Look at me, Sarah. I'm not the biggest man in the world, am I? I survive in prison because of my reputation. Who they think I am, what they think I'm capable of. Now, you mess with that, with stupid walks or lisps or whatever. It could be fatal for me, do you understand? 
Well, I'm sure Lawrence had no idea. Is that what tomorrow's all about? Your reputation? It's about trust. Enter. What the hell are you playing at with Malone? Ah, uh, yes, well, that's all a bit complicated. No, it's not. It's very simple. You've let me down. And now you can kiss goodbye to your parole, George. What? Unless you stop mooning over this girl who's way out of your league oh. and get the wing back. You know, you are a very nasty man. Do I manage to see you, sir? Inspector. Governor. Hello, George. Oh, of course. You two already know each other. Yes. Been a long time, hasn't it, George? Still. The years have been kind to you. You look nicer somehow. <laughs> the famous McCabe stare. I almost miss it. Almost. But you weren't too happy about that TV program. I can't say I blame you. But they find that actor that played you. What a twat. Totally unconvincing, I thought. I mean, did he capture any of the sheer unbridled menace in that stare? No, different person. Incompetent. I could have done it better myself. <laughs> Anyone could have. Oh, and by the way, just in case you're thinking of hitting back, don't. Well, I can't tell you how reassuring that is to know. Sergeant. Sir, Malone. Ah, Malone's ready for you, Inspector. Nothing too serious, I trust? No, just a routine police matter. Bye, George. Take care. Twat. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Not really. Yep, she's in there. Plenty of security, though. You're gonna have to be really convincing. You sure about this, George? Quite sure. This is not the solution. I know. Why don't you cut holes in her suit or g give away all of her handbags or sew prawns into her curtains like any normal person would? Blimey, George, you don't know how to pick them, don't you? I don't know, man. Oh, and, uh, Barry. Nice work. It's just what I needed. Thank you. Didn't you just say thank you, then? Yeah. I think you did. I'm Simon, and this is Cassie. Cassie Page. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's lovely to finally meet you. Hmm. Chanel suits you perfectly. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you've got company? Hiya. I don't feel like that, then. Um, look, I'm very excited about doing this with you. Well, should we do a run through before we start? You did get a copy of the script, didn't you? No, I did not, Simon. Agency, what can we do with them? Dear Cassie, isn't it strange how life goes? Six months ago, I had no idea you even existed. And now, with your visits and these letters and all those, and imagine waking up each day not knowing that you were there, alive and so, so beautiful in the world, too. Oh, that's sweet. Sorry. No, oh, don't worry, it gets worse. It's that whole self-educated thing. <laughs> Drunk on his own words, you know? Oh, look, the Times is here and the mail. Fantastic! 
I'm sorry, you were saying? No, it's nothing. I, Cassie, um, I'm just, I'm just feeling a little bit intimidated by, by our audience here. Drop dead gorgeous, though they both bloody are. <laughs> and, uh, but I mean, could we, could we ask them to, you know, just wait outside? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, it's okay, guys. You can wait outside. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's like a cloud has lifted. I can breathe. <laughs> Such an actor. Oh, yes, I do my best. Um, shall we? This is rather a good bit, actually. This is a real purple patch. I've never found it easy to talk to people, Cassie. I've never really opened myself up or trusted anyone. Of course, I can see why I'm like that, but that's not enough. You have to be open to change, to life. And then I met you with your smile and your jokes and your questions, digging into me, the real me. And then, not in an instant, but over time, all the fear went away. And I felt alive, really alive. Yes, always trust your first instincts, Cassie. Especially when they tell you to run. We are not done yet! Not by a long way. George, please don't hurt me. I am sorry. I am so, so... How could you do that to me, Cassie? How? And what makes you think I would ever, ever let you get away with it? George, no! Murder? I don't think so, love. Jesse. I'm in for burglary. Oh, I know what you're in for. Love. Just like I know that knife came back from the lab with your DNA all over it. Knife? What knife? The one you killed that old couple with, Terry. In Wallacey. You remember? Antique silver bone handle. It's worth a few quid. No wonder your little junkie friend Spider didn't obey orders and just dump it. Well, not when he could sell it. On eBay. eBay? Oh dear, Terry, have I upset you? No. You're all right, love. In fact, I've got something for you. All right, Terry, let's keep this nice and calm. Funny, isn't it? You lose one knife, find another. Go on, bitch. Make me hurt you. Open it. Open it! OK. On to the wing. On to the wing now! All done. Yes. Let's go. Just like that? So what now? Are you going to kill me too? After all, I'm a witness, if not an accessory. God, I made it happen. I just helped you kill an innocent young girl. Do you mean that girl standing over there? Yes. Cassie, this is a high court injunction. It stops us using his letters, his photos, his name, anything he told you and anything you did together. Yes, but can't we work round it? Yes, we could, but then we'd be left with a book about you. And who wants to read about a failed journalist? Well, uh, better get going if we're going to get you back inside tonight. Had to put a smile on old Kenny's face, eh? <laughs> Quite 
nice for you in a way, love. You get to see the shit you put us in! Not quite looking at him, love. He's a chocolate gun in a heat wave. enough time for Emma Dale. Right, I'll uh, just get my stuff. Makes a cup of tea, will you, love? Yeah, two shoes, too. Mm -hmm. Five to Braintree Prison. Things are a little sketchy here, Katie, but it seems that the riot is being led by one of Britain's most dangerous armed robbers, George McCabe. Barry! I understand that the incident began in an interview room and quickly spread through the whole wing when a group of rioters took a George. number of hostages. The prison authorities have, of course, opened the line of communication with the riot leaders. Uh, don't know what it is yet as whether that's with George McCabe himself or what, if any, demands he has made. The ring has gone spam. Tense looking situation down here, Katie. Time and for Plan B, George. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mr. Whitler. Tell you, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm fine, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Yeah, we didn't really have a lot of time to work together, did we? Yeah, I do have some demands as it happens. Got a pen? There you go. Where to, Mr. Nixon? Hey? Thailand? Laos? Mexico's meant to be very nice. Lots of monuments. Don't just tell me you're going to bugger off and leave him there. Don't tell me that, George. Boy, a lot of people have put their asses on the line over this, me included, right? You're out of here, no question. You and I had a deal! No, you and I had a deal, right? I'm not going to do time just because you suddenly grow out of conscience, and if you think that, you've got another thing coming, no, right? Just, you, right you just can't deal. come in George, here, make cows out of here, and expect the whole plans to change. OK, look, this is what we're going to do. What does he want? Oh, not much. A royal pardon, a helicopter, and the small dark head one out of Girls Aloud. He's mad. Blonde one's much tastier. What are you going to do? What do you think? The loan's flipped. I'm going to have to call in the CNR boys. Hello? Who? McKay, what the hell? You are where? You think you are We have got to help her. There's nothing you can do. He's armed, he's mad. We'll slice you up as soon as look at you. I think I should let her know that I'm here. Inspector. What? It's me. It's Lawrence. But the actor. I just thought I'd better let you know that I'm here. And I think I'm doing this rather well. Oh, my God, it's you. <laughs> oh, my God, now I really am scared. <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> OK. The first deadline's up. And now I'll peep out of them. So? It's time to show them we mean business. <laughs> it's time someone got hurt. <laughs> now, I wonder who that's going to be. Ip, dip, sky, blue, oo, zit. It's gotta be you, love. Now, <sighs> what shall we start with? The finger? Yeah. Oh, Jerry, please, don't do this, please! <laughs> no! Over in here. This is my wing! If there's any slicing up of any filth to be done, it'll be done by me. Oh, yeah. Go, George. Go, 
Oh, yes. What are you saying? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Get him! Are you sure, son? Lawrence! Oh, the knife, Lawrence! Right, that's Lawrence! Didn't anyone ever tell you that little boys should never play with knives? They might get hurt. Oh, that's just great. You march in here at the last minute, acting the big I am. Well, you can just clear off, you know, because Kenny and I have got this whole situation under control. I suppose you want your shoes back now, do you? Oh, my God. There's blood all over my shoes. Where did that come from? Where's... Oh, my God! You all OK, Lawrence? You're going to be OK? Get some help! Yeah, quickly get an ambulance. Hurry! Oh, God, that felt good, Kenny. I thought I was really getting him, you know, towards the end. Good. You were brilliant. Was I? That's the best review I've ever got. <laughs> Don't you go on me. Not now. Kenny, you crying? You big puff. Well, it was good of Whitlow to swing this place. Well, a deal's a deal, and D.I. Manley can be very persuasive when she sets her mind to it. I bet she can. New glasses? Yes, um, the proper bendy frames. Hardly notice you've got them on. Very nice jacket. It's a... Um... It's Italian. It's very light. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, um, how's it going with Sarah? Then? Oh, it's good. It's good. Uh, still got to pass the Watson test, obviously. Chocolate buttons, my friend. Always the way to a dog's heart. And Sarah's, as it happens. There you go. Thank you. So, uh... You're doing a new film? Yes, yes. Uh, another villain seems to be playing quite a lot of them these days. I wonder why. What do you think, Kenny? I think you two yak like a couple of old women. How the hell did I ever put up with either of you? I'll see you Monday. Don't be late. I'm on my way from misery to happiness to be. From misery to happiness to be uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm on my way to what I want from this world A kiss from love, you'll make it to the next world And everything that you receive up yonder Is what you give to me the day I want Next on ITV1, join Harry for a special New Year's Eve TV burp. And then later, join Take That and special guests live at the O2 Arena to welcome in the new year. There's music and entertainment from the boys as well as other artists, including the Sugar Babes. The countdown to midnight starts at 11.15 here on ITV1. I'm on my way. I'm on my way.